Is another man's baggage Slow you down, I ain't going nowhere Space suit on, can't breathe this air TNT going off in here Ain't we up there? Cause you always wanna touch me My thorns will leave you bleeding That's why I'm always leaving Believe me Cause you always wanna touch me My phones will leave you bleeding That's why I'm always leaving Believe me One more shot, one more round Take my hands, pound for pound Promise I'll let you down One more round Don't step on my rules 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 Step on my rules Step on my rules Told me situations left you lonely. Tried to give you my best shot, but my best don't mean a lot. Bullseye always miss, that's why it's all I got. Cause you always wanna touch me, my thorns will leave you bleeding. That's why I'm always leaving. Cause you always wanna touch me My phones will leave you bleeding That's why I'm always leaving Believe me, believe me One more shot, one more foul Take my hands down for the evening Everybody, it is not the morning Even though I did film in the morning and I made French toast and all that, but today was a fail. I said I was gonna vlog and I didn't, so. But I still had the rest of the evening as well as tomorrow to film. And I said this was gonna be a productive vlog, which today was productive, I just <laughs> didn't show you guys. <laughs> so, don't mind this, it is in progress. I actually have some stuff that I bought that I'm gonna show you guys that will help heal this because, fun fact, I'm going away next weekend. And yes, I know it is COVID. I know people might be judging me. I know, I know, I know. I did get my vaccine. And I know about that also. A lot of people have their opinions on it. But I feel okay. And I'm fine with that. And if you aren't, okay. I understand. I do wear my mask. I do wash my hands. I do what I need to do for myself and for others. Not sure how much more I can do. But yeah, I'm going away this weekend coming up so i'm sorry you can unsubscribe <laughs> if you don't support me anyways moving along i brought a bunch of stuff for that which wasn't probably the brightest idea because it wasn't pay week and <laughs> kind of struggling but if that 1400 hits then, then you know <laughs> i'm kidding i don't know if i'm gonna get it we'll find out still hasn't hit yet everyone else is getting theirs but not me um but yeah, I bought stuff from Sephora this week for my skin. I also bought some stuff from Amazon, some stuff from Forever 21, and some stuff from Bath & Body Works. So I wanna show you guys that really quickly. First thing is Amazon. Well, I did get like a tension rod. I don't wanna show you too much of my apartment because I didn't film like a finished apartment tour. I only did the empty apartment tour. But I brought, uh, tension rod curtain rod which 
kind of confusing to put up, but I did it without the help of anyone. Meanwhile, there was a human being two feet away from me, but whatever. Then I also got this like carry-on approved, flight approved like bag that you could put like your body wash and stuff and it comes like with these little bottles. So I'm gonna use that. I don't know about like shampoo. I don't think I wanna wash my hair when I'm there, but I don't know. I'll see if I go straight or curly. I'm not sure yet. Body wash. Maybe like face moisturizer. I don't think the bottles are like big enough. But yeah, like a bunch of stuff you could put in here. So that's cool. And I think it has like toothbrush covers, which is nice also. Then I got this wallet. It was supposed to be more of a darker chartreuse color, but it looks more like lime, yellow, green. And you can put like your flight ticket thing in here, even though I don't think we're gonna paper one because unless they print one out for you, I don't know how that works. But if I have it on my phone, I think they just scan it. Your passport, might bring that just in case because I know that I don't have a real ID, but they extended it to this year of October but I still wanna bring my passport just in case they say I can't go anywhere. My ID, all my cards, and I'm gonna bring my vaccination card just in case, cause I'm anal like that. So yeah, that's that. Now I'm gonna show you what I got from Sephora. Okay, so this is what I got from Sephora. I made a mistake just now filming my shipping address, so I'm doing this over again. Anyways, let's speed it through it. I got a niacinamide with zinc serum because I ran out of mines and I never stocked up on it again and I realized it worked a lot for my skin so I had to get another bottle. I also got the glycolic acid toning solution which I heard really good things about. I used to use the glow tonic from Pixie but I heard this one was just as good and I'm really bad with taking off my makeup and I know this helps to clean up any extra residue. And for actually taking off my makeup is the Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm, which I did have. This is like the smaller size. I think one day I want to get the larger one, but I just got this for now because I do prefer this over like makeup wipes and the micellar water. I feel like it helps with like waterproof stuff and whatnot. But yeah, that's all Sephora. Let me show you what I got from the mall. So we're going to do this fast. I got a t-shirt from oh my gosh i'm messing all this up i got this t-shirt from forever 21 this is from the men's section i really liked it it just says community on it los angeles i just like the print a lot i don't know why it reminds me of like an old 90s movie like movie or something i don't know i just like it a lot i also got like this beach cover-up sort of thing don't know if it was actually worth $22. I'm not gonna show you fully because I'm probably gonna be vlogging on there. Um, I also got these sweat shorts, which I'm very excited about because I always wanna buy a pair of shorts like these and they like they're gonna fit very nicely. These were 15 bucks. And then I always wanted one of like these vest tops. So I thought I'd wear this there if we go out for like dinner or something. Tucked in a pair of jeans or like pants, like this knitted material. And I don't know exactly how cold or warm it'll be there. Um, let's go through Target. This is going to be random stuff. I got a bra. That's nice. I got some underwear. Five for 20, I think. Got some mac and cheese. Three boxes of those. I also got some wet wipes for my trip because you need to wipe down the plane. I also got my favorite eyebrow gel, which is the e.l.f. Clear Gel. It's only a dollar. It's the best thing on earth. Get a lot of compliments about that. I also got these eyebrow razors, which I'm gonna use today. I'm gonna do my little self-care tonight um, to clean up the top of my eyebrows because I don't really get them done anymore. I got a clear coat from a brand called Deffy and Inspire for my feet. And then I ran out of a moisturizer, so I'm just gonna try this one. It's called Amy Naturally Kind. Glow and Bright Illuminated Moisturizer. So, I like to be more glowy nowadays than in the past. I used to like to be more matte, but summertime. Got more underwear. I also got this blue polish. I think I'm gonna do my nails like this color when I get them done, so I'm gonna do my feet that color as well. I got more underwear, a travel loofah. 
because I'm not really a hand washer kind of person. And I also got this deodorant, which is also a travel size, so I can bring it with me. Now, I also got some Auntie Anne's from the mall. And then from Bath and Body Works, I got these body lotions. They're travel size also. This one is Hibiscus Paradise. Don't really know what it smells like. The next one is Fiji from like their new like summer collection thing. It's Sunshine Guavatini. And then the last one, which I was very excited about because if you guys know me, I am Belizean and my family's from Belize. I did do a travel vlog there, check it out. But they have a Belize like scented body lotion sprays, whatever. And it smells like tropical cabana. So I don't know what that smells like, but it smells really nice. So definitely bringing this with me. And then I also got two hand sanitizers, one for my boyfriend, which is warm vanilla sugar because he likes vanilla. And I got Beautiful Day. don't know what it smells like, but I don't really care because it's just hand sanitizer. So that is my little haul. This thing looks disgusting on my face. I need to fix that soon. But the sun is setting and so is my brain. But I'm not sure what I'm doing for the rest of the evening. Probably just going to chill out for a bit get all this stuff together and if I start doing anything like packing wise or organizing or cleaning I will pick you guys back up but right now my brain is foggy and I need to chillax because I woke up very early and it's been a long day but we'll see you guys a little bit later so guys I'm actually going to be trying out this new skincare stuff that I got um now this isn't the best angle, I don't have the best lighting right now, but here in my bathroom, kind of getting a sneak peek before I do the full tour once again. Um, I'm not wearing any makeup except for my eyebrows, but I kind of want to leave them on because I'm going to be filming for the rest of this video, so if you think that's gross, then that's fine. But I'm going to start off with the, so I'm not going to use the pharmacy cleansing balm, I'm going to wait to do that like when I'm wearing makeup. I'm going to be using the Ordinary Glycolic, glycolic Acid, it's so hard to say that word, um, toning solution, so it's a toner. And I usually just like to use, um, what is it called, the Angel Cotton Round thingies, if I have any more. I don't think I have any more. Let me grab something down here. But... Yeah, I just like to use these. I prefer the larger ones, but I don't have those on me right now. So I think the top is already open, and then you just squirt it, or do you press it? I don't know how this works. That's like, oh, you twist it. There you go. That's nice. I'm just going to put some on here, and I'm just going to wipe it on my face to get off all the excess oils the nastiness on my face whatever there may be so i'm just gonna let that dry for a little bit and then i'm gonna go in with the ordinary serum and i'm gonna try that on my face usually you're supposed to leave it overnight um but you're supposed to use it before like your moisturizer so i'm gonna put it on Tonight, and then you're supposed to do it the next morning. So my skin dry a little bit. So let that dry a bit. And this basically just helps with like blemishes. And I feel like it helped my skin a lot. And I feel like now my skin needs it again, like to get it back into shape. If I can open the freaking bottle. Okay, there we go. So it comes with a little dropper. I really like their packaging. It feels like a scientific <laughs> uh, thing that I'm using. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I just do about four drops on the broth area of my face and I just like to rub it in. It's a very thick consistency, a thick serum. I say serum like how I say syrup. And I just do the residue onto my forehead. 
But this I just rub it in all over. Okay, now it kind of burns on some spots, but that's fine. But not in like a terrible way. It just burns on like the spots that I popped earlier. Okay, now that I have it evenly distributed, you go in and I kind of just press it into my face. It feels like sticky almost. But you're gonna see like a dewy residue on my face so you can see, see how that looks. But it's not sticky to where it's like uh uncomfortable like a syrup or something, like honey on your face. I know people do like honey mask with like just regular raw honey and I always wanted to try that. But just the feeling of like that sticky feeling on your face, I'm not in love with. So I'm gonna let that sit in there also. And this is also a great product to use like under makeup. It really makes your makeup stick all day. So I really like it. Um, I thought this had vitamin C, but I guess it doesn't. Even though I thought it did. So, I'm wrong about that, but in the two spots that I popped, I can feel it kind of tingling. Um, I also have the Ordinary AHA 30% and BHA 2% Paling Solution. It's a 10 minute exfoliating facial, so this is totally looks like blood or something. I really like this, I used it last night, I feel like it kind of helped to like get rid of some nastiness and stuff in my skin but I feel like my skin is like hair is really bad in this area you guys can tell the lighting is bad I know but you can see all that texture on my skin I'm not liking it um and this is the new moisturizer I got from Target six bucks don't know how good it is don't know what this brand is um it's 96 percent natural so dermatologist approved cruelty free and vegan free from sulfates parabens colorants mineral oil and silicones so yeah i don't know what's really that bad in it but it's called amy naturally kind glow and bright illuminating moisturizer they also had a mattifying one but i want more of a glowy look um with rose water and hibiscus instant 24 hour hydration brightens and smooths dermatologist approved Formulated for dull, lackluster skin, including sensitive skin, which is me right here. So it comes in this nice like pink bottle and it's really cute, it has a little pump. So we're gonna try that. And I'm not gonna use too much. Well, it's like a milky consistency. It's very drippy, if you guys can see that. I'm gonna dab it on there. Cause this time I have to press into my skin since I had that nice acetamide thing. Mm, it smells really good. Oh, actually you could just like slide it on over top of that. I mean, I think it's fine if it mixes in, but, and I heard that for eye cream, you can just use your moisturizer. It's almost like the same exact thing. Like you don't really need eye cream, but I kind of want the caffeine one. I think the ordinary also has the caffeine one. So I'm just gonna pat that into the skin with the niacinamide. I'm just gonna let it sit on there for the remainder of the night. So that is how my skin is looking. Let me bring you guys to the light more. Just gonna do some healing soon. This area needs some help, but I'm just trying to clear that up before I go away. So let's hope that all works out. Now, I think I'm gonna watch a little bit of YouTube and chillax on my couch until I don't know what. I'll either see you guys in a bit or tomorrow when I'll be doing better productive things. Um, I do just wanna share my to-do list really quickly with you guys because I'm starting to do to-do lists because I've been watching Lauren Doan's channel. I recently found it and to me, she's like the queen of to-do list. So I kind of started my own. I'm waiting for her notebooks to come back out because I really want to buy one. So I did my own from a notebook that I had from a while ago. And this is kind of my weekend to do since I don't work from home and I do have an actual job that I have to attend every single day of the week except for the weekend. So I just have my weekend to do for what I need to do this weekend. So let's see what I got through. 
so I just wrote it out like this. this is how she does hers kind of except her font is like bigger um edit a empty apartment tour I need to do that tomorrow film productive weekend vlog I'm doing that now um figure out what to wear for travel I need to do that tomorrow as well as well as throughout the rest of the week um build my dining table I'll wait for that tomorrow night because I have a bunch of stuff over here that I need to get rid of for my mom um go to Target and Mall we did that so I'm actually gonna cross that out because we did it this is exactly how she does it she just takes like a marker and crosses it out the same color um we're doing this Put foam and cushions together for my mother. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Make French toast for me, my boyfriend. <laughs> did that. Um, oh, I don't like how you did that. Shop online for clothes. Might do that right now while I watch YouTube. Edit productive vlog and post for Wednesday, but I can't do that yet because I didn't fully finish this. And start packing, which I'll start tomorrow. So yeah, it's not too crazy productive, but it's enough for me to do to be productive because usually I just sit on my couch and watch YouTube. But that is all for right now. I probably won't do the rest of this stuff till tomorrow, but I will definitely be vlogging tomorrow with more exciting things. So good night for now. Good morning. I like my hair I'm not liking it oh, also if you guys didn't know I did dye my hair differently and I'm not liking it now I feel like it got darker and like brassy so I think I might go do it again like next month but it's pretty pricey so I don't know if I want to do that but today is Sunday the time went forward but I still managed to wake up early so I woke up at like 8 30 well it's like 9 now but it's really eight o'clock so i feel kind of happy about that that i still made it in the single digits um but yeah i'm just going to clean up a bit today i have to start editing my empty apartment tour which i'll do after i clean then i want to check for like a rental car for when we go away next weekend and I might be going out again to some stores later. I'm not exactly sure yet, but obviously you'll see by then. My voice sounds so deep, but it's pretty cold. I feel like the temperature is like going crazy because it keeps getting high into like the 70s. And now it's back at like 40 and it's like annoying. Now I just want it to be at one temperature and I will be happy. But I know it's going to snow this week and I'm like... Ugh annoying but um yeah i'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning i don't drink coffee on sundays i don't know if that's weird or not um i just feel strange about drinking it i mean i might make a matcha i don't know because i haven't really made one before um but yeah i might make one of those and see but yeah i'm just gonna sit here for a second and collect my thoughts before I start going wild and cleaning but yeah see you guys in a bit here comes the train you can't hear me
over. Well, I was climbing underneath my mattress and I almost got stuck. <laughs> and I just one of the legs off because I didn't realize that my under the bed storage was going to be stuck back there forever. But this is as much progress as I got. Don't mind that. That will be cleared out soon. But as you can see, there's some summer colors there. Some blacks also and some whites. Actually, I probably shouldn't wear black because it's going to be hot. And when the sun is beaming on you, that's not really that good. Anyways, if you're wondering who I'm talking to, it's just some random person here at my house. <laughs> Anyways. So, I have my carry-on bag behind that. It's actually a suitcase, a four-wheel drive, so you can just roll that thing in the airport instead of dragging it. But, um, yeah. You can't go over there because... Stop! But you can't go over there. Look, you're not going to make it. Anyways. Look, now the sun is gone. Jeez. Whatever. Ooh, let's do it like that. Where was I? So I made penne a la vodka. I can never say the word vodka. Say it. Say vodka. Can you say it? Vodka. vodka. I, I, I have to say it with a Russian accent. Yeah, I have to say it with a Russian vodka. accent. Vodka. <laughs> Anyways. I made that with some meatballs. It's a little salty, so my blood pressure is going to raise and my calves are going to swell up. <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> Anyways. I'm putting on my dishes again because it didn't really clean that well and there was still gunk on the dishes so I'm kind of annoyed with that. Yeah, that's as much packing as I got. I think I'm still going to vlog during the week because I don't feel like doing anything else for today. The time went forward and I'm not feeling it now. This morning it was fine but now I'm not. But yeah, I'm going to chillax for the rest of the evening. See where it goes. Maybe make a cookie or just eat the raw cookie dough because my toaster oven smells like burnt. And that is that.